Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know this is a bit different, but I thought in today's video, I'm headed to the beach right now, and in January in New Hampshire, the beach is kind of like a different place, but I usually go in January because at that point in winter, I need some semblance of summer, so we're headed to the beach today, and I thought that we could gather some beachy things and put them in resin. So if you're interested in coming to the beach with me and uh, picking up some seashells and all kinds of things that we might find, hopefully we find some stuff, um, and then coming back and putting it in resin and making some beachy resin art, then continue watching. We're at the beach now and I I forgot a container to put stuff in so I have this sandwich container and I'm probably gonna put some other shells and stuff in it so now we have to go find it it is so freaking pretty here We just got back to the car. I have my sandwich container. Oh, I probably shouldn't have picked it up like that, but I have my sandwich container of beach things. So I will see you guys a little bit later for the actual project. Yes. Okay, we're back home. It is actually a few days later. Uh, I had to wait for some of the materials to come in, but I've been dying to try this. I actually tested it out because I got the materials very recently, uh, and I tested it out yesterday just to see, like, I want to be able to know at least a little bit of what I'm doing because I've never done this before. I've never made an ocean-themed piece before. I've admired them. I love them. I think they're gorgeous, so I'm so excited to finally be trying this and to be doing it with sand and shells and rocks and things that we found at the beach so I'm excited I just wanted to quickly before we get started in case any of you have never tried this yourselves either so first I got one of these I actually got a couple of them because I wanted to be able to test one out and then have one for the video but I got these basswood country rounds they're just like these uh, slabs of wood with bark on it so we're gonna do the beach theme on this one I got a new heat gun because the one I have, which is this one, isn't like, it's hot, but it's not, um, it doesn't like produce enough air to be able to like push the resin around and the colors around to make that like wave effect. So I got one of these. <laughs> it's humongous. I don't know if like, this is the one that everybody else has, but I thought it was. And then when I got it, I was like, oh my God, it's, it's humongous. Look at it. Like next to my head. It's massive. Um, this is the box it came in in case anybody is going to try to get this. It's actually really cool. It comes with a bunch of like different heads that you can like pull off and put on and all that jazz. So it's awesome. I tested it yesterday. It works perfect. I'm in love with it. Um, so that's going to be that. I got it off of Amazon. So I'm going to try to put it in my Amazon um, supply list in case you guys are going to go look for it. It'll be there. That link is in the description. So I still have all of my sand <laughs> in this sandwich container. It's just a perfect little container for it. Um, I also pulled out all of like the bigger pieces, like the shells and the bigger rocks and some of the sea glass that we found, which is so cool. Um, and then I've also got a lot of counterculture DIY products. So 
I'm gonna be using the dispersion colors and those are like specifically <laughs> Did you just hear that? They're specifically formulated to be mixed into resin and give like a solid, beautiful color. So I'm excited to use these. I have it in a bunch of colors. So I'm just gonna run through them really quick. Um, I have Flamingo, Aquamarine, Majestic Mauve, Cobalt, Midnight Blue, Sky Blue, White Snow, and Tsunami. So I also have some of these armor arts and this is gonna be like a key thing in getting this to look like beach waves. Armor Art is pigment used to create lacing and special effects in resin. So that's why I got this because it's supposed to do that like, like it said, lacing. Uh, so I want that to look like, you know, the white in the beach waves. I don't know why I have to act out everything I'm talking about. I'm sure you know what a beach wave looks like. So since we're going to be doing this on wood, I did just want to like paint the piece of wood like you know, the basic colors that we're going to be doing just in case you can see through it for any reason. So I have a bunch of these like Master's Touch acrylic paints that I got from the craft store. Um, and they're all in dif like different shades of blue. I have white, warm gray for the sand. Uh, I have pale blue, lake blue. Oh my god, what is that? So I also got this blue shade which is in... <laughs> Phallocyanide. Blue. Whatever that word is. Phallocyanide. And then to paint on those colors, I got a pack of these like sponge, sponge brushes because I thought that would be the easiest way to do it. And now, drum roll please, we are going to finally get started. So what I'm going to do first is mix up some resin I completely forgot. That's another material uh, that I'll be using. So I'm using the Counterculture DIY Artist Resin in the medium viscosity. So we're going to get started now. I'm so excited. This is like the most excited I've been in a while. Like I'm excited for everything, don't get me wrong, but this is just the most excited I've been in a while. Anyway, we're gonna get started now. I'm gonna mix up some resin, then I'll come back to you, and then we'll mix things, and I'm gonna shut up now, okay? Hey, so remember when I just told you like a millisecond ago that we were going to be mixing up resin as the first step? I lied. Uh, we have to paint this first, and then we'll mix up resin while this dries. So, I'm gonna get my paints ready and then I'm just gonna like kind of ombre and sponge this on and I will change up the angles so that you guys can see that process happening. Hey guys, so I thought we would try out both styles of direction, written direction and vocal direction, so let me know what you think of that. Uh, but I am starting out with just painting the piece of wood that I have. I'm kind of just doing like the basic colors uh, and doing like an ombre from the sand colors to the water colors that we're gonna have later. I'm doing this so that just in case you can see through the resin later that you will only be able to see the color of paint that we put underneath it and you won't be able to see like the wood underneath. So now I'm just pouring on some medium viscosity resin just on the section where I want the sand to be. That way it'll just stay in that one area and I can pour the sand right onto it. And then whatever shells and rocks and weird things that you found at the beach, I'm just kind of like picking and choosing things, sticking them right on. This is still just the wet resin with the sand on it. I'm just sticking them right in so that it kind of cures all together. I'm just separating out some of the medium viscosity resin that I mixed up into separate cups 
so that I can mix in the different colors of dispersion colors. And these are uh, called dispersion. <laughs> Okay, I've recovered. They are called dispersion colors, and these are from Counterculture DIY. That's literally all I was trying to say. <laughs> so now I'm just pouring on the different colored resins that we've mixed up, um, and I'm going to be doing an ombre effect with these later, but I'm just doing it from lightest to darkest. So now we're going to be doing that ombre effect I was talking about. So I'm using my heat gun and I'm kind of just using it to push the colors around and blend them together and also making it look like the wave is going in onto the sand. And now I'm using the cup of resin and white dispersion color that we mixed together to make some waves or like the beginning of the wave. So I'll be using something else later to make like a more bubbly looking wave. But these are kind of uh, for like the start of the wave. So now I'm just like I poured it on and now I'm using my heat gun again to kind of spread that out. So now I'm using something called Armor Art and it's also from Counterculture DIY and it's just stuff that I'm basically squirting onto the piece. I didn't mix it into resin or anything and then I use my heat gun to kind of push it just like the other colors but it's what makes the bubbly looking uh, wave effect and it is so, it's amazing. It's really cool. All right, so it is the next day and I kind of just wanted to jump in and talk about some things that happened yesterday maybe some mistakes you know and I kind of just wanted to guide you guys through what happened um, I mean first of all this is how it looks right now I have no words this I'm obsessed with it I mean like Isn't this so pretty? So some of the things I want to talk about that maybe didn't go as planned are that I did not do anything with the back and I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't think of taping the sides or doing something with the back so that it didn't melt onto the side. And some of you guys do ask me why I tape the sides of my pieces when I do top coats and this is why. Because the resin will go around the sides and around the back. And I did have to like peel off a lot of like the edges that were just like sticking to it basically like this. So I did have to peel that off um, and it, it was a little bit difficult but this tool I, I highly suggest. If you do anything like this you have to get a tool like this because it has like a stand on it so that it stands up purpose like it's this is part of its function uh, so that I can turn it on and what I did was I heated up heated <laughs> I heat up the edges 
of it and then I would like it would like soften up the resin so that I could peel it off easily or easier uh, it wasn't super easy but I was able to peel all of that off and I should be able to warm it up and scrape a bunch of this off and then probably sand it another thing I wanted to point out if you use the like if you use a resin that is uh, faster curing like the medium viscosity that I used yesterday do not mix up too much of it at once because <laughs> you know you might get a situation like this where it starts to like melt the cup and be like really hot and weird um, so yeah that happened yesterday and I that's basically when this started happening that's when I cut I was planning to do a little bit more but when I noticed this I was like oh oh no <laughs> I this is going to explode it obviously did not but it was because I mixed up way too much resin and then I had a like a large amount of it just sitting in these cups and it got real hot real fast because it's a fast curing resin so don't do that go slow mix up a little bit at a time plus like I would have wasted that resin anyway like I wasn't gonna be using all of it so I mixed up a lot just because I wasn't sure how much I was gonna have to use but this is me saying you don't need too much especially for these like little layers that you're dribbling on it's not a ton of resin what I'm gonna do is another clear top coat right over all of it including the sand and the shells because I want to be able to seal everything in uh, and then I might dribble a little bit more of this to make more of like a 3D wave like sitting on top of the waves that we already have here. And then we will probably be done. And then tomorrow we'll be able to, ooh, and awe at it. I'm so excited. So I think what I'm going to try to do first really quick is warm up the little bit of resin that's still on here and try to scrape that off as best as I can. And then I'm going to mix up some more uh, medium viscosity resin. And then I will top coat it and we'll do some more waves and then we'll be done. Okay, I am going to start this off by saying this is one of my favorite, like by far, favorite things that we've done so far on this channel. I'm completely obsessed with this. I want to do like a million different colors, like, well, I mean, within reason, obviously, to make it still look like an ocean, but I would like to do a sunset one, maybe include some like pinks and like oranges, like right down the center to look like the sun is going down. I feel like that would be so freaking pretty. I feel like this is one of those projects that I would recommend to like everybody. Like I want, I want to just show this to everyone. I mean, I've loved a lot of the projects that we've done, but this one, right? What do you, I need to know your thoughts. What do you think of this? Obviously, you know, we did stumble a little bit uh, with the back of it, but it, in the end, it didn't, it didn't affect anything. I definitely will in the future either be taping the sides or doing something on the bottom so that the resin doesn't drip over to the bottom. But I, what I ended up doing was uh, I heat up the edges and then peeled off the resin once it was warm enough and then I just sanded it flat. It is still a little bit stained on those edges, but it's not a big deal because everything's completely flat and smooth. And then I drilled a little hanger on there so that it can hang on the wall. Especially with this stuff, the armor art. 
art from uh, Counterculture DIY. That's what we did these like bubbly waves with. This stuff is so easy to use. You literally just squirt it on and then use your heat gun to like move it around. And it's just so fun and easy. It comes out different every time, which is amazing and so cool. So let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know if you're gonna try it. I would love, if you guys do try it, please tag me on Instagram. I want to see what yours looks like and how it comes out. I feel like this is just so much fun. I'm excited to see you guys try it. So why don't we roll some of that beautiful close-up footage so that you guys can see what it looks like hanging on my wall. I'm kind of, like, I'm, I'm obsessed. I need, like, a million of these all across my entire apartment. That probably, that probably shouldn't happen. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I, I really enjoyed making it. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and following me on Instagram. It's at Artsy Mad Woman. I love you guys to absolute death. And I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.